Well, it's another day. Um, looks like I'm going to uh, today strip down the race engine that we've been running for a few weeks. I think about six weeks now. And uh, have a look, have a check of things. I pulled the plug out. Uh, Colour's looking a bit quite good, nice chocolate brownish. Tiny bit rich maybe. A little bit oily around the sides, but not too bad. But we had a misfire. Uh, up on the top, rev, rev range. But I think we've found that. That's uh, a little loose connection. So we'll be sorting that out. I'm gonna change the spade connectors because they're they're just too soft. They don't they sort of fail. So they're gonna be replaced. Um, so we'll make a start on things. First of all, cheers. Start with the right attitude. Mm, not good. Now we're going to look around. We've got a little bit of oil around here on the head gasket. So we might have a little leak there. It's hard to say because the carb spits out so much bloody petrol everywhere. Over a period of time, it's not like I've just run it and, and I've even got a little bit of oil. So we're going to have to strip it down and check everything. There's no leaks on the exhaust gasket, but this is definitely not sealing properly. So we're going to have to check this. We're going to strip it down and have a look. And that's it. As simple as that. Right. That's not so bad. But, but this one is loose. Why? So, I've had problems with these studs before, so I'm going to replace these studs. They're just soft. I think the threads are stripping on them. So, I'm going to replace the barrel studs, for starters. It's been leaking. Not too bad, but has had some leakage. Bit oily. But the burn's quite good, it's quite central. Well, we're having a look at the piston and the burn that we've got. You can see on this side, on this transfer, Burning a little bit more over to this side, but it's quite good. It's not so bad. Quite happy with that. Probably this transfer has just got a slight edge where it's when it's coming through a bit early. But we've got damage on this thread here. This one's fucked. That one's not much better, these two are still good. So we're gonna change these two studs. And then uh, slip the barrel off and have a look at the piston and the rings and everything. And check how everything's running. So we'll carry on a little bit more. I'm not gonna video all the footage of the strip down because you're gonna get bored. So let's carry on a little bit more now. 
Well, we've had the barrel off. There's a few, there's been a few fine scores down there, but um, considering how much I've thrashed the ass out of it, so uh, that's more or less what our bore is looking like. As you can see, there's the exhaust port, even though it's wide, the ring hasn't been snagging on it, so that's a bonus. But the one transfer port is not exactly square, and that's why I'm getting that slight burning on the one side. Not good. But there's nothing I can do now. It's going to have to go back together, resealed, uh, with some new studs, and we'll see how it runs. So we're going to bolt it all back together now. And that's it. Piston's looking good. Uh, can't even see it. Oh, there you go. Piston's looking good. Rings are all still nice and free. A few little fine marks, but that's bugger all. It's going back together and it's going to get run. So that's it. Get the spanners out. Well, got a bit of a stressful day. Uh, I've made a few changes. What I've done is I've took jacking plate off the bottom of the barrel, two mil jacking plate, lowered the barrel, which has changed all the port timings now. And we've had to put extra gaskets on the top of the barrel. Luckily it's a spigot fit head, so it's no problem. It's just spaced it up. So it's gonna change all our port timings now. But we did find a few airline cracks in the exhaust, which I had to weld up on my protty. So I'm gonna give it a paint, a cut of paint now and then uh, finish putting it together. Hopefully it should be more responsive. I, I don't lose too much top, top reps, but we're just gonna find out and see. See what difference it's made. Uh, hopefully it's the way forward. <sighs> well, got it all back together. Been out for a little test drive on it. Much more response. Mid range is really, really good now. But, uh, I think I miscalculated the transfer port timings. That's because uh, this barrel was originally done for a 54 mil stroke. So I raised the transfer ports. But now we're on a 58. And that means my transfer ports are too high. So I've had to lower them now. Luckily, I can because we've got room to play with the spigot head and the, and the jacking plate. So I'm about to take the jacking plate out. Um, I think I could get away a little bit more power if I put a smaller jacking plate in and less on the top and not have so low transfer ports. I think we're on about 130 degrees now. I can work it out. And uh, so we're probably running 130 degrees transfer port timings and about 180 on the exhaust port now. So we've lost some RPM. But the bike's quicker, so that's that's good enough. So I'm gonna leave it as it is for now and uh, run it about and enjoy riding it. So, see you later. Well, looks like my dad's come down to check everything out, make sure everything's right. Likes to keep an eye on me. So what I'm gonna do now, I'm just gonna start the bike up, give it a little there uh, run so you can hear the motor. Don't forget to subscribe.